Welcome back, bombers, to the Scott Spot. I am Gang Leader Scott, and you are watching the Majora's Mask Let's Play. Zelda, that is. Alright, I'm back. Um, it's been about a week since I last recorded, and I actually feel much better. Um, I'm still not 100% over my sickness, so my voice may start to give out as we go on. But, in general, everything's going swell. So, anyway... Uh, we last time we went to the postman and played his little game and I forgot to mention one very important fact and that is that um, basically you can slow down um, or you can actually see the timer during that mini game um, if you are wearing a mask that we don't have yet called the bunny hood so keep that in mind it will become easier if you can just wait a little longer so now we are here to change time and um, stop Sakan from stealing from that old lady. I'm not doing anything suspicious. Really? Well, I already know from Divine uh, Divinity. Well, Div Divine Divinity? Uh, what's the power of foresight? Well, through the power of foresight. that He is lying. So let me play this song of time to um, speed time back up. The song of inverted time, that is. Because... Uh, as we know from the first cycle, the thieving, the thievery, occurs at 12.30 a.m. on the first night. So now we just have to wait for that to actually happen. So I guess I will just um, either cut or speed this part up to when the appropriate time, to the appropriate time. Because otherwise we would just be sitting here. Ah, and there she is. Old Granny, watch out. You're going to get uh, mugged. I'm sorry. I wonder why she's sorry. Does she just not want to talk while she's on the way? Her son did say that she was late getting back already, so... This little scene is painful to watch if you're if the time is slowed down. Watch out! Stop! Thief! Give the old lady her luggage back! The difference is, now that we have the sword, we can make him drop what he stole. However, we still can't do anything to prevent him from escaping. No matter what I do. Although I will say, uh, in the future, if you use bombs, arrows, or the hookshot on him during this part, it will actually ignite the uh, the, pou the pouch that he stole and kill Sakan. But you will still fail the quest. Thank you. Since he didn't make off with them, I can finally stock bomb bags at our shop. Maybe I'll put him out tomorrow. Yes, I must thank you. It's a dangerous mask, but maybe you could use it to throw your own festival fireworks show. And we get the blast mask, which is actually one of the more useful masks. Um, basically, you wear it, and then you could do a bomb explosion on your face at any time. But it will hurt. Well, thanks for helping me. Take care. The old lady from the bomb shop was added to your notebook. You guarded the old woman's luggage. This was added to your notebook. And it seems she makes it home safely after that. So let me, before anything else, let me speed time back down. Um, down... A right. There we go. And then I guess I'll demo the uh, the blast mask real quick. And like I said, the blast mask is useful because if you don't have any bombs, uh, it's basically an infinite source of bombs. Um, it does take us a few, like a minute, probably less, to um, recharge. So let me equip it real quick here. And I'll go ahead and explode. As you can see, it does take the the B button is um, grayed out now, and my the mask is like kind of translucent on my face. So there's that. Um, and then another thing that I want to mention is the, one of the main reasons this is useful is you can get that silver rupee that we got from the side path on the way to the on the tunnel to the astral observatory uh, at the beginning of every cycle because you don't need um, bombs. Another thing worth mentioning is you can actually um, use your shield to protect yourself from the blast. I don't know how that works because the blast mask is on your face, so that makes no sense. Um, let me see if I can demo that real quick, but unfortunately I'm going to have to remap my controls here. Because I think I got rid of the shield button somehow. So if I use do this and then explode... You see, I took no damage, which is excellent. 
Anyway, now let's head into the inn. And why don't we go and check out our uh, the room we illegitimately rented. Or booked, anyway, <laughs> without even knowing. Uh, in this, so it's, it's a little bit of a um, decrepit room, but there is a chest in here that is motivating to get the room key sometimes. It's because you'll get the silver rupee here. Um, which is really the only reason we came up here for right now. What's this? What a ramshackle inn! Is this room first class? You can hear whoever's next door for crying out loud. Well, whatever. We're staying for free, so we can't expect much. <laughs> Sounds like my apartment. You can hear anything and everything. And the room's on cruise ships. Jeez, we could feel everything on that cruise from... Or hear everything. And some dude liked to, like, randomly roll into his wall uh, super hard. And it was, like... It would, like, kind of bounce me and Corey because we were standing in bunk beds. It was really annoying, actually. Anyway, um, let's go over here. To the toilet. Because Link's got to go. Oh, oh my god. This is like the stuff of nightmares. P -p 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 Paper, please! It sounds like he's in some dire straits. Alright, uh, we actually do have some paper. We're going to give him our land title deed. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, you saved me. I wonder what kind of predicament he was in. Maybe that one's better left to the imagination. The spell down here. I'll give it to you. And we got a piece of heart, which is piece of heart number six. And then this guy doesn't even have a name, apparently. Who? Well, that person was added to your notebook. You helped unknown person out of a jam. This is added to your notebook. So that's another bomber's notebook entry uh, complete. Just knocking them out one by one. Let's see. So far, we've got um, the bombers are done. The old lady from the bomb shop is done. The... Unknown person is done, and Guru Guru is done. So we're making some headway here. Um, by the way, if you help that hand in future cycles, you get a blue rupee. And I should have mentioned this before, but you don't get anything for helping the uh, the old lady from the bomb shop in future cycles. Um, although, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I don't think there is a reason to ever do that again. I could be wrong. I'll, I'll put it in notations if I'm wrong. I just don't don't want to think about it right now. Alright, so let's head to the bomb shop now that the old lady should have safely made it back. I'm sure her son will be happy to know she's okay. All the way across to West Clock Town. You know, one thing that would have been really cool in the 3D remake on the 3DS would have been to make Clock Town all one concurrent area, remove the loading screens between. I mean, it's okay, I guess, but that would, I mean, that just would have been a cool feature, I think. In we go. What are you doing? Does he have anything new to say? This is the Goron that sells powder kegs. Oh, too heavy for us to carry it. Alright, I also wanted to point out there's like some kind of rocket ship design down here. If I can do the buttons right. So I guess the owner had like an idea for bomb propelled rockets at some point. Planned moon trip. Experiment memo. Try using bomb-powered flight. <laughs> well, I guess they could probably get to the this moon, since it's so low to the ground, with a well-timed bomb arrow, or bomb-powered flight. Welcome. We just got a larger bomb bag in stock. That's great. So the big bomb bag is now in stock since we saved the old lady. For 90 rupees. This can hold up to 30 bombs. We just got it in stock. Literally. I'll buy it. Got a big bomb bag. They can carry up to 30 bombs, which is a much more reasonable number. Alright, we're done here. Come again. Alright, now, let's see, what do we want to do next? Um, we're going to need to get 100 rupees, so uh, pardon the interruption while I go and do that. Okay, now that that's done, um, we've got 100 rupees. Let me take my mask off here. And... Uh, actually, now we're going to head out to Termina Field. We're actually going to leave Clock Town for the first time. If you don't count uh, the exterior of the Astral Observatory. Let's see, how much time is left in this video, anyway? It's hard to tell because I had a few cuts. 
I think we got a little bit of time left, so we'll go ahead and start um, exploring Termina Field. However, I do want us to get the full effect of Termina Field, and since um, nighttime is already is still a few hours from drawing to a close, I'm going to play the Song of Double Time, which I believe is right, right, a, a, down, down. Dawn of the second day. 48 hours remain. Yep, it lets you proceed either directly to dawn or directly to the beginning of the night. Which is pretty cool. What you got to say, bro? Stop right there. Have you some errand in the swamp? It is dangerous outside the town wall, so I cannot allow a child like you to... A sword. My apologies, sir. It was wrong of me to treat you like a child. The southern swamp at Woodfall lies in this direction. Be careful. I remember Woodfall is actually where our first main story destination is. But we've got lots to do still in town, and lots to do in this new place, Termina Field, which is basically the Hyrule field of this game. As you might have guessed from the remix of the classic Zelda theme. Da -da 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 -da. I will say I recommend avoiding going too far south in that direction that I'm facing, because that will trigger um, a cutscene. Um, I also want to mention that... Um, Gosh, what did I want to mention? Oh, remember in the 3DS remake, you could use the Song of Double Time to um, just uh, go directly to whatever hour you wanted, so that's it was actually way more useful. It's a red choo-choo. It's nothing really to be afraid of. It's not unusual to find something in its stomach that might be of use. Probably the red the choo-choo's creepiest appearances. But they give you hearts, so you can't beat that. I'm going to change to Deku Link because these grass patches can be decent sources of rupees. Maybe even better than um, the um, the grass patch in Clock Town. Especially in, when, before you can destroy all the grass patches at once. So we're heading towards the observatory. As you can see, we're going towards that uh, telescope up there. Which is very nice. Bombs. You'll get bombs and... What you're really looking for is the blue rupees, but no big deal if you don't get any, I guess. But where we're actually trying to get to is, um, remember that grotto we saw the business scrub fly into from the Astral Observatory? It's right here, so let's, uh, head on down, shall we? Right after I go get the goodies from this grass patch. But this can go on a while, because then there's another one right over there, so maybe this wasn't such a good idea. When you think about it, it's kind of funny, because I don't think the classic Zelda theme was in Ocarina of Time, which would make more sense for it to be there, um, considering you're in Hyrule in Ocarina of Time. Although, there, oh shit, what is that? Alright, so that was a real bomb chew. They explode on contact. Very scary. Right, so let's head on into the Scrotto. See if we can't uh, extort the business scrub down here. Nothing really to note. We've got a bunch of bottle bugs. Ah, oh, here's the business scrub that we saw. Ah! What are you doing here? This is my secret storage unit. The problem if you come in here without permission. Please! I'll sell you a piece of heart if you just keep this place a secret. I wonder why he needs it to be so secret. I guess he doesn't want people to steal from him. So you can pay him 150 rupees, but an actual, actually a little secret. If you say no thanks... Hmm, no good? In that case, you leave me no choice. What about one for 100 rupees? And you actually do want to take the uh, offer this time. I don't think it won't go any lower. And there's our seventh piece of heart. It's not that I don't believe you, but just to be safe, I'm moving my storage. You hurry up and get out too. And there he goes. It's kind of weird that he like pays you to not reveal his secret, but then he abandons it. It's, it's like, did you really need to pay me? You should have just picked a new spot if you were going to do that anyway. Oh well, we can't pretend to understand the uh, the logic of a business scrub. He probably went to business school and we didn't. Maybe some of you did though. And we're done here. But I think that that is actually going to be the end of this video. I don't know how far we are in exactly because of the uh, the cuts and fast forwarding I had to do. 
Uh, but next time we shall get to know Termina Field a little bit better. So that should be exciting. We've only covered a small bit of it, and it was really, we just went straight here, cutting grass on the way. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Gang Leader Scott. Thanks for watching Majora's Mask, and I look forward to doing more of this with you guys next time at the Scott Spot. Later!